Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Let's see what important messages the cards want to reveal for you at this time. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. It is not going to resonate for all, but hopefully there is something here that you can take away from this reading. Thank you all for your support. And if you would also like to check my friend's channel, the link is down below. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance, please. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? All right, so starting this reading with the King of Swords energy, followed by the Six of Wands. Two of Pentacles energy, the Five of Pentacles, the Judgment, the World card, Four of Pentacles energy, and the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles energy. So the Queen of Pentacles is you at this time. It's time to build on a strong foundation, something realistic, in order to attract abundance and prosperity in your life. I feel like this is about owning your dream and remembering that you always have more than enough. You're always enough here, Capricorn. Abundance is ever present in your life. I feel like you may also be dealing with family or children at this time. You are building a strong foundation here, Capricorn, after what you've been through. There is victory with the Six of Wands. Okay, you are moving towards laying the groundwork. Could be for a relationship with a more firm footing. For some of you, this may also be business or career. And it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of energy in order to ensure that this foundation is not something that's going to come down. The World card also speaks about completing a cycle. And you are evolving into a new beginning, exciting, and new challenges. This is also speaking about the knowledge that you've acquired from everything that you've been through. Okay? There's a sense of fulfillment and achievement here for you, the world, and the Six of Wands. Now, Capricorn, with Four of Pentacles and Four of Swords, I feel like you have been very committed to your own growth. You may find yourself in a sort of different stage of personal development. But in the process, you may also find yourself drifting away from a certain group or circle. For some of you, this may also speak about focusing on just the people that matter right now in your life. But I'm really seeing that you may be sort of isolating yourself here. I feel like the time has come when you need to recognize when it's time to be part of something or when it's time to be separate from something. It's also essential to find balance between both for your well-being, okay? Solitude and isolation may be good for a short time to help you really know yourself, staying true to your core truth and value. But when done a little bit extreme, it can also indicate to a sense of isolation or loneliness, even unable to identify your place or where you fit in, if that makes sense. Some of you, this decision to detach yourself could be you no longer identify to a group, all right? Because I see the Five of Pentacles is possibly feeling left out or feeling as though you're finding it very hard to see yourself with these people. It may also be a sense of community. It's just you no longer identify yourself the way that you did, okay? But I see you Capricorn finding a new path, a new place with others like-minded or like in spirit. But more importantly with Two of Pentacles, this is all about standing on your own, two feet, finding balance, and also letting go of some of the pressure to fit in. You already have so many things going on as it is, okay? So Five of Pentacles speaks about transition and the world card is about something coming to an end. I feel like this is about closure. Closure may also be needed by those that you are about to leave behind. You're about to no longer take with you in this part of your journey. I'm really getting a strong sense that you are in transition here. All right, universe is leading you to also those that can accept you, those you feel like you're really belonging, 
being part of something. Now, another message of this card, it may also speak about a specific relationship in your life. Maybe this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've already given this situation one or two cycles. All right, maybe that this person and you are now discovering that you may not necessarily share the same value or belief. You may have also felt a little bit left out in the cold by this person. And a part of you feels like you're not able to get intimate or be in a place of safety where you can really be yourself. I feel like you're holding back or this person is holding back. Like there's a wall between you both, Capricorn. This is only a temporary energy. I feel like now more than ever is where you need to have mutual support, you know. Capricorn, you may have also felt a little bit hurt or disappointed by those who are not sort of providing what you feel you deserve. Because being the Queen of Pentacles, you have went over and beyond for those that seek your help, your assistance, your support in one way, shape, or form. So there might be this type of uh, disappointment even just to yourself, okay? I feel like you're butling this. Queen of Pentacles can also be an energy of butling feelings, not expressing them to others. There might have been a sense of why do I feel a little bit empty after giving so much? And why can't other people provide the same, you know? Now, I feel like in terms of work, Capricorn, Six of Wands and the World card is saying as long as you stay focused and dedicated and you set your mind into what it is you want to manifest, there will be growth, expansion, and good outcome. You have everything you need to turn things right now into, um, into more. This is a time to build on a strong foundation, which you're going to reap the benefits of your hard work in the future. So the seeds that you're planting now are for the future. Keep in mind that you are still in the process of building this, okay? And it's very important that you already have this success attitude and mindset of you are enough. You've always have enough. Your creativity will always be yours despite the changing situation in your environment, Capricorn. All right. Now, for some of you, this may also speak about, you know, you need to be authentic and true to yourself king of swords and the judgment stay in your own lane with the six of wands this is about not thinking too much about what you lack five of pentacles if this is not about poverty or financial constraint capricorn it may speak about a consciousness of lack where you feel like there's something missing or you're not enough you're never enough and i feel like the message here is to stay in your own lane be your own person be authentic and true to your mission your brand your work your contribution to the world, you will attract more abundance if you stay true to who you are. This is where you will shine the most, you know, and experience prosperity. This may also be to not focus too much on what you feel is going to sell or what others perceive they want, if that makes sense, because this is just going to pull you in different direction with two of pentacles. You may go back and forth and question your own abilities here. So, Remember, Capricorn, that you can't be all things to all people. You are you. You're unique. You're special. You bring something to the table. You're a star. You're talented. You're gifted. All right. So don't abandon yourself, Capricorn, just so others, you know, get what it is that they want, if that makes sense. Some of you, this also speaks about uh, re your relationship in general. Don't abandon yourself, Capricorn, your beliefs, your co core values. All right, so just people can accept you or you feel belonged. It won't be worth the price is what the cards are saying. This is also about not overly compromising yourself. Universe is going to lead you to the right opportunities, right people that can accept you where you feel like they don't have any sort of agenda. All right, I feel like that's what you're also coming to realize. So let's open more cards out here. Something beautiful is also coming towards you with the star card, okay? I feel like now you're making a change as well. You're also attracting new relationships in your life. Like I said, like-minded people. But you're building this foundation with um, honesty, with genuine intentions. And it may also be that with the King of Swords, you're cutting situations, energies that may be draining you or toxic, all right? Drifting away from 
from those situations where you feel it's not going to add any value or meaning or joy and fulfillment in your life. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow, this card is about following your intuition as you make decisions boldly. This is all about passion. A spiritual awakening is taking place. This is all creativity, beginnings, and energy. Having a new sense of direction as well, willpower. So there's a good reason to remain optimistic about your future, about what you're building here. Remember that the seeds you're planting now are for the future. Yeah, we have the full card energy. So Capricorn, you feel like you're, you're here in this energy of shifting your priorities. Like I said, something needed to come to an end. Something is coming in full circle because you're about to step into a new way, a new life, a new being, a new consciousness as well. Yeah, we have the tower. Some structures in your life are now coming down and they're coming down for a reason. For some of you, this may also speak about um, universe showing you the cracks in a previous foundation of your life. Now is the time to address the cracks. Perhaps your values have changed. It's time to strengthen your conviction and let go of things that no longer serve your vision, your path in your life. Okay. This may also speak about an argument or a situation where you feel like you are outgrowing certain people. You're outgrowing certain values and you're staying true and authentic to who you are. We have the page of wands. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the king of wands. All right. So there's an older and a younger individual here. It may be energetically Capricorn. You feel like you always have to be the bigger person. You always have to give. You always have to look out for certain people. And this may also lead for some, some type of imbalance. Okay. You felt like you were compromising a little bit of yourself here. And now you're ready to make these changes that will affect everything in your life in a positive way. Okay, so some of you, this may also be a new person coming in, but this new person that you're attracting is something that's built on clear communication, honesty, and genuine concern, genuine love is the tower that's telling you to not repeat the same that didn't work out in the past. You're also building new foundation here. So remember Capricorn that whatever you feel and perceive that's lacking in your life, you always are enough keep in mind that abundance is ever present in your life you have the skill set the talent the passion to not only live an abundant life but also attract the right people in you are meant for success okay six of wands now for some of you this is also saying that you may be wondering why are certain things happening right now why are certain situations being stripped away from my life we may not have all the reason. You know, faith is a mystery. After all, destiny we can never predict. But Capricorn, the past can no longer be changed. However, you can influence the present moment and your future, right? And it all starts with the mind. Let go of any sense of regret and rise anew like a phoenix from a flame. There's a rebirth process here for you. You're definitely awakening to a new sense of clarity, all right? And closure here so you can start on a new cycle if you've been feeling left out in the cold universe is saying the right people will come in so don't over compromise yourself we have the king of pentacles so this is a good sign there will be stability especially in the field of your finances your wealth your property whatever um, setback you're experiencing right now it's not going to be a permanent energy all right so to end this reading let me pull an advice card for you capricorn now to end this reading as well i just want to point out that there could be somebody from your past that wants to apologize that wants to come back to your life you may have received a message and news of some sort but i really see a stronger resolve in you to move forward to your own path of personal development so don't let um, this news or message throw you off the course or your balance right now, Capricorn. Go within and ask yourself, what is the right decision about this matter?
All right, so we have co-create. This is a beautiful card, all right? It speaks about creativity. It speaks about having a stronger connection with divine as well. This is the number 48 in the deck. That might be a significant number for some of you. Let me read what this card is saying, okay? Essential meanings, creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, belief, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Protection message. You are trying too hard to create all that you desire without the nurturing vital force of spirit. Perhaps you are in a creative slump suffering writer's block, facing a monumental task, but unable to decide on your first step. So you just avoid doing anything. Does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now? Why do you think it has all come down to you? Inspiration means drawing in of divine guidance. You must tap into spirit, not simply yourself. Ask spirit for inspiration. Two minds are greater than one, so co-create with your divine partner. Reclaim your partnership with spirit. Inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way. So that is your reading Capricorn. I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. Thank you all for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.